Although the term eating is in the name, eating disorders are about more than food. They're complex mental health conditions that often require the intervention of medical and psychological experts to alter their course. These disorders are described in the American Psychiatric Association's Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition. In the United States alone, an estimated 28 million Americans have or have had an eating disorder at some point in their life. This video describes some of the most common types of eating disorders. What is an eating disorder? Eating disorders are a range of psychological conditions that cause unhealthy eating habits to develop. They might start with an obsession with food, body weight, or body shape. In severe cases, eating disorders can cause serious health consequences and may even result in death if left untreated. In fact, eating disorders are among the deadliest mental illnesses, second to opioid overdose. People with eating disorders can have a variety of symptoms. Common symptoms include severe restriction of food, food binges, and purging behaviors like vomiting or overexercising. Although eating disorders can affect people of any gender at any life stage, they're increasingly common in men and gender nonconforming people. These populations often seek treatment at lower rates or may not report their eating disorder symptoms at all. What causes eating disorders? Experts believe that a variety of factors may contribute to eating disorders. One of these is genetics. People who have a sibling or parent with an eating disorder seem to be at an increased risk of developing one. Personality traits are another factor. In particular, neuroticism, perfectionism, and impulsivity are three personality traits often linked to a higher risk of developing an eating disorder, according to a 2015 research review. Other potential causes include perceived pressures to be thin, cultural preferences for thinness, and exposure to media promoting these ideals. More recently, experts have proposed that differences in brain structure and biology may also play a role in the development of eating disorders. In particular, levels of the brain messaging chemicals serotonin and dopamine may be factors. However, more studies are needed before strong conclusions can be made. Eating disorders are a group of related conditions involving extreme food and weight issues, but each disorder has unique symptoms and diagnosis criteria. Here are six of the most common eating disorders and their symptoms. Anorexia nervosa. Anorexia nervosa is likely the most well-known eating disorder. It generally develops during adolescence or young adulthood and tends to affect more women than men. People with anorexia generally view themselves as overweight, even if they're dangerously underweight. They tend to constantly monitor their weight, avoid eating certain types of foods, and severely restrict their calorie intake. Using body mass index as a factor in diagnosis is outdated because people who are categorized as normal or overweight can have the same risks. In atypical anorexia, for example, a person may meet the criteria for anorexia but not be underweight despite significant weight loss. Obsessive compulsive symptoms are also often present. For instance, many people with anorexia are preoccupied with constant thoughts about food, and some may obsessively collect recipes or hoard food. They may also have difficulty eating in public and exhibit a strong desire to control their environment, limiting their ability to be spontaneous. Anorexia is officially categorized into two subtypes, the restricting type and the binge eating and purging type. Individuals with the restricting type lose weight solely through dieting, fasting, or excessive exercise. Bulimia nervosa. Bulimia nervosa is another well-known eating disorder. Like anorexia, bulimia tends to develop during adolescence and early adulthood and appears to be less common among men than women. People with bulimia frequently eat unusually large amounts of food in a specific period of time. Each binge eating episode usually continues until the person becomes painfully full. During a binge, the person usually feels that they cannot stop eating or control how much they are eating. Binges can happen with any type of food but most commonly occur with foods the individual would usually avoid. Individuals with bulimia then attempt to purge to compensate for the calories consumed and to relieve gut discomfort. Common purging behaviors include forced vomiting, fasting, laxatives, diuretics, enemas, and excessive exercise. Binge eating disorder. Binge eating disorder is the most prevalent form of eating disorder and one of the most common chronic illnesses among adolescents. It typically begins during adolescence and early adulthood, although it can develop later on. Individuals with this disorder have symptoms similar to those of bulimia or the binge eating subtype of anorexia. For instance, they typically eat unusually large amounts of food in relatively short periods of time and feel a lack of control during binges. 
People with binge eating disorders do not restrict calories or use purging behaviors, such as vomiting or excessive exercise, to compensate for their binges. People with binge eating disorders often consume an excessive amount of food and may not make nutritious food choices. This may increase their risk of medical complications such as heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. ICA ICA is an eating disorder that involves eating things that are not considered food and that do not provide nutritional value. Individuals with pica crave non-food substances such as ice, dirt, soil, chalk, soap, paper, hair, cloth, wool, pebbles, laundry detergent, or cornstarch. Pica can occur in adults, children, and adolescents. It is most frequently seen in individuals with conditions that affect daily functioning, including intellectual disabilities, developmental conditions such as autism spectrum disorder, and mental health conditions such as schizophrenia. Individuals with pica may be at an increased risk of poisoning, infections, gut injuries, and nutritional deficiencies. Depending on the substances ingested, pica may be fatal. Rumination disorder. Rumination disorder is another newly recognized eating disorder. It describes a condition in which a person regurgitates food they have previously chewed and swallowed, re-chews it, and then either re-swallows it or spits it out. This rumination typically occurs within the first 30 minutes after a meal. This disorder can develop during infancy, childhood, or adulthood. In infants, it tends to develop between 3 and 12 months of age and often disappears on its own. Children and adults with the condition usually require therapy to resolve it. If not resolved in infants, rumination disorder can result in weight loss and severe malnutrition that can be fatal. Adults with this disorder may restrict the amount of food they eat, especially in public. This may lead them to lose weight and become underweight. Avoidant or Restrictive Food Intake Disorder Avoidant or Restrictive Food Intake Disorder is a new name for an old disorder. The term has replaced the term Feeding Disorder of Infancy and Early Childhood, a diagnosis previously reserved for children under age 7. Individuals with this disorder experience disturbed eating due to either a lack of interest in eating or a distaste for certain smells, tastes, colors, textures, or temperatures. How to Help Someone with an Eating Disorder if you think someone in your life has an eating disorder, your best bet is to support and encourage them to seek help from a healthcare professional. This can be extremely difficult for someone living with an eating disorder, but supporting them in other ways will help them feel cared for and encouraged in their recovery. Recovering from an eating disorder can take a long time, and this person may have periods of relapsing into old behaviors, especially during times of stress. If you're close to this person, it's important to be there for them, and be patient, throughout their recovery. That's it for today. Check out the channel for more health and weight loss content. You can also purchase our weight loss course. And please, like and subscribe to be notified of our next tip. See you next time.